Hi guys, thanks for joining us. In this video, I'm just gonna uh, reply back to a, a request that we got from a client where they express interest that they wanna connect the uh, SCC 520 to a Danfoss Turbo Core TT series Modbus compressor. Actually, they wanna connect to more than one of them, but I'll just cover one and then, um, you know, uh, connecting to multiple should be pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so the first thing I did was I just went on the internet and tried to find the Modbus register list for the um, uh, Danfoss Turbo Core Compressor. And I find an um, um, older document. So um, as you can see here, it describes the registers and the client is only right now is only uh, you know interested in looking at a few of the registers. So I'll just cover some of them quickly just so you can see. So anyway, I, I found this. I know I have a registered list. So let's go now in Catalyst and see how we would we approach this uh, small project. So let me minimize this. I'm gonna go into the Catalyst environment. So I have my uh, backend integrator software here. I'm just gonna right click on any one of my SCCs, SCC 520s, I'm gonna launch Catalyst. And then uh, we'll go to the steps of connecting to a Modbus device such as the turbo core compressor okay so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go under view here and i'm going to set up the uh, configuration or the properties of my rs485 port and that's under modbus service configuration okay so i'm just going to click on that and then um, you can uh, adjust some of the parameters of the serial port again this this right now it's only related to serial port number two okay so um what i'm going to do is i know the turbo core compressor after reading that document can talk to 384 so i'm going to set this to 384 and i'm going to leave the other items uh, um should you know leave them alone they should work as they are sometimes you have to increase this inter message delay um and when you connect to a real compressor you'll you'll see if you're missing some you know data and data is uh, intermittent and after you verify that all the wiring is correct, then you can increase this maybe to 50 milliseconds. Or you can leave it at 10 milliseconds because everything's fine. So let's leave it at 10 for now. I don't have a turbo core compressor here. I'm just uh, kind of showing you the steps required. Okay. So that's set up now. The, the uh, port configuration is set up. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a new Modbus page onto my project. So uh, Modbus device page, okay? So that's the new page, and I'm gonna call it TT compressor number one. And I will assume that the first compressor, first Danfoss compressor um, sits at slave address number one, okay? It could be sitting at different addresses, so you have to adjust this number according to what the compressors, the, the address is. So it could be two, three, four, whatever you have, but this is where you adjust it. But for now, let's call it, let's assume that it's sitting at address number one, okay? Now I can drop some um, Modbus blocks and, and you know start communicating with the device. Now, one thing to remember is uh, Catalyst is using a Modbus addressing uh, format called addressing base zero. Okay, and from what I've read, uh, most likely the uh, Danfoss compressor uses Modbus addressing base one. So whatever the register number is, you have to subtract one from it when you actually put it into the uh, Catalyst project. Okay, so let's quickly go back to this list. I know the user is interested in register 4024. Okay, so, sorry, 40,024. So um, I'm gonna drop a block for that. So I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna go into my, my, my best menu here. And I'm gonna look at a numeric writable here. Okay. And again, as I said, 
um, catalyst uses base zero. So address 24 from that document would translate into 23. So you can see this is puts it at 23, but it's actually correct because catalyst is using base zero. Okay. And then let's also name this. So something that would be more user. Let's go back to this document and they call it um, UAF mode. Let's, let's call it that for example. Okay. So I'm going to call this UIF mode. Okay. So, and I know it's a 16 bit integer, so I'm just going to leave it at that. I can change these if I need to for different Modbus devices. So you can see there's some options here. And you just have to play with this a little bit to get it quite right. Okay. So I'm just going to leave that at that. And that's my first Modbus register or data that I'm going to get from the compressor. Okay, next is um, the client is interested in retrieving um, 40,026, which is the fault um, data from the compressor. Now, this is a bit of a little bit of a different um, way to represent data, but you can see as, as Danfoss document shows, they've packed a bunch of different alarms or bits into the one register. Okay, so it goes from bit zero all the way to bit 15. So it's basically 16 pieces of data. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to um, basically break that up if you needed to. So I'm just going to drop one, a block with the 25 address in catalyst. So here we go. I'm just can go copy and paste this one. And I'm going to rename it as fault, for example. Again, you can name it whatever you want. Okay. And I forget already what was it. So 26 would translate into 25. Okay. So I go here and I make that 25. Okay. This would read the actual, the whole number. But if I wanted to um, break out the bits, then I would go in my logic function here. And you can see there's a block called bit decoder. Okay. So I can use this to expose the bits by themselves. Okay. So I can come here and connect this to this. And then all these bits will be exposed as individual data to be used in the program. Now you can also, if that's not enough, you want to expose more of the bits, you can go on formats here. And I can increase more of the bits like so. Okay. And so on. So now I can go ahead and see all these temperature alarms as individual pieces of data and use them in my catalyst program to um, do whatever I need to do with them. Okay. I hope this is, um, uh, this this quick video is useful for you guys if you have any other questions you can uh, email us or phone us and i'll be happy to answer those questions and just before i leave you uh, if you want to duplicate the same thing you can create a new um new uh, modbus page here and call it address 2 slave address 2 and just copy and paste these blocks onto it and that would be the information for your compressor too or you can stuff everything into one page. That's even possible because you can shrink, you know, you can shrink these pages. So as much as you want. So it's a prof programming preference for you. Okay. Have a great day, guys. Thanks.